Well, the Rise Above Traveling exhibit teaches young people to rise above adversity. They recently stopped in Bossier City, and NBC6's Lynn Vance shares why that's something good. School students got a history lesson from the 1940s about the Tuskegee Airmen and WASP female pilots during a visit to the Rise Above Traveling Exhibit that visited Airline High School. This is our very first uh, stop of the year. We go across the country and even North America. The students saw short films on the women's Air Force service pilots who tested aircraft and trained male pilots but were not allowed to be in the military. And the Tuskegee Airmen, the first African-American pilots who not only fought for their country, but fought racism at home. I was inspired a lot by this video. Would you encourage other students to watch these films? Yes, I would, I would definitely. The message is to encourage young people to rise above adversity and learn from those who came before them and helped paved the way for their future. It's one more uh, opportunity outside of the box, or outside of the traditional classroom that we can involve our students in. Each visiting student are given a set of dog tags that list Rise Above's six guiding principles. Six guiding principles are a collection of concepts that the Tuskegee Airmen and the WASP are to give young people some idea of what they did to succeed over all of the odds, the racism, the things that were stacked against them. Students also got to meet 17-year-old Gabriel Carruthers, New Mexico's youngest licensed pilot. Lynn Vance, NBC6. Lynn, thanks so much. About 350 Bossier students visited the exhibit in the two days it was at Airline High School. You can learn more about the exhibit by heading over to our website, ktalnews.com. Just look for the CARES tab. Well, coming up,